I have never felt that foreign policy can be insulated from what happens domestically. And that applies to the <coughs> India-US relationship also. And uh, when you uh, see the debate and the kind of, you know, groundswell of opinion being expressed about the need for jobs, about, uh, you know, a certain xenophobic trend about foreigners coming in and, you know, eating your lunch, as it were, uh, obviously that is going to affect you know, the larger climate of what you're doing on the bilateral front between two countries. You can't insulate yourself from that. You've seen the discussion on the H-1B visas, for instance, and what is going to happen to our IT industry, or what is going to happen if U.S. tax reform begins to affect yeah. the work of our companies. So you have to keep the antenna the up. And yeah. the of the Although they, they have, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. they've sort of reassured yeah. us on that front. So this is this bears very careful watching. I think you cannot you cannot insulate yourself from that. But coming to social media and what the leaders say on social media, when it comes to India-U.S. relations, it's been all sweetness and light. I think when it comes to what leaders are saying on social media, you haven't had President Trump saying anything which is you know which uh, you know is jarring or negative about India, and of course. Uh, our Prime Minister has also said all the right things about this relationship. So you have to look elsewhere, you have to look beyond social media, you have to look at the prairies, you have to look at the Midwest, you have to look at the, you know, the lowlands as it were, when it comes to picking up the signals. And what US Congress is saying, is there, you know, you've had, you've had very positive, affirmative approaches to India in the US Congress, both houses over the years. But with all this happening, with all this kind of debate about jobs and visas and, you know, will a fatigue set in? You know, that's what you need to look at. I do worry about um, the deep divisions in our country. There's no question about it. I, I'm a, I started working on Capitol Hill when I was 18 years old. Uh, I love American politics. I love the sport of it. I love the, what it has done to inspire people, the model it has served for people around the world. And that's a great hallmark of our system. But there is something different about our current environment, which is a deeply divided system where people can't seem to find the middle. And in fact, there's disincentives to compromise. What it does, I think, if I could connect the dots here, it's not just a domestic matter. It, I think it does impact us internationally. And I think a number of retired military professionals and diplomats have actually come out and said, look, the deep polarization in the United States is something that we have to think about how it impacts our ability to carry out our global responsibilities. That's the first thing I would say. The other thing I'm, I'm concerned about it's kind of the redefinition of what it actually means to be American. I not only worked on Capitol Hill, I served in the U.S. military very proudly. I remember um, my mother with proud Indian roots uh, studying very diligently after 25 years in the United States to get her U.S. citizenship and coming home with her flag and very proudly displaying that American flag and being um, so proud of her kind of roots in this country, but her also her new American citizenship. And she was someone who was a special needs teacher, um, paid her taxes, but wore Indian clothes and spoke with an accent. She was very American. And if we lose that concept in this debate of what it means to be um, American, I think that will be a, a great disservice to kind of the spirit of our, of our country. So I, I think uh, for those of us that care about those issues, it's time you know, for us to really speak up and have a voice. And that's just say independently of the task force, I I've certainly intend to, uh, intend to do that. On the communicative um, kind of leader in the US, I guess I think we probably pay a little bit too much attention to the social media. I think we've got such talented career uh, professionals in our system, in the Defense Department, State Department, uh, agencies of government uh, that work hard in this relationship each day, regardless of, of which political party controls the White House. And I think that's where most of the work actually gets done. Mm -hmm.